we're doing research for uh, our investigation of the Malloy Apartments. Right, yeah, this cool old building in uh, Seattle's University District. So we're trying to. Nothing. <sighs> Me neither. Really? Yeah, let's just hope that the lure of free coffee gets us some people to come out and give us some ghost stories. So that was a bust. Yeah. We didn't get anybody who wanted to be on camera. Well, there was that one. So tell me some of your ghost stories living here at the Malloy. Ghosts? There's no such thing as ghosts. But it turns out most people just aren't like you. What do you mean? They just don't want to be on camera 24-7. But <laughs> I can smell it. <laughs> Someone's filming. Yes, yes, I know. You can sense it. So where should we start? I think we need to go to the eighth floor. All right. Deal. Where are we? I don't know. Third floor? Let me know when we get to seven. I'm gonna throw out. All right. So this is the eighth floor. Mm hmm And what do we know about the eighth floor? There have been numerous reports of a woman in a nightgown. Right. By multiple people. My name is Kathy, and this guy used to live here in apartment 804. And he lived here for like 15, 16 years. And he used to swear to God, he would see this image of this woman in the hallway, like wearing a long white nightgown. And then he told me the story where he had heard that she was jilted and she flung herself off the roof. We know that um, there was a guy named Carl mm -hmm. who lived in the building for a long, long time and died one year ago exactly mm -hmm. to the day. Yeah. My name's Tracy and I live in the Malloy. Uh, there were a number of armchairs where Carl used to sit and um, when I was coming home one day from work, I could see uh, a leg, bare thigh all the way down through the foot, which was also bare, and a little bit of scarlet colored shorts or something. It reminded me of Carl because he was always barefoot and he was always in shorts. A few days later, I was coming home doing the same thing. I saw him sitting full body, um, just kind of sitting there with his feet kind of crossed. But again, this was out of the corner of my eye. So I looked up and all of a sudden there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that someone named Georgia reported up here that in her apartment things kept moving around. Right. Like she would come home and stuff would be moved. Mm -hmm. And she would ask the apartment managers. Were you in here right. doing maintenance? Right, and they weren't. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, there's a lot of things we can, can look into. But we should start just... Readings. Yeah. So obviously because this is an apartment building, people live, we couldn't ask them to turn all the power off, so there's going to be EMF fields. Definitely. So are you getting like a base level? Well, right now it's pretty steady at just the 1.5. Yeah. And we had asked Kathy where the woman had been seen. Right. And it was just down this hallway, right? Just it wasn't around. I think down this way. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, yeah. The light's flickering. So I'm still just getting the, the same baseline reading everywhere. Yeah. Like point 0.1, point 0.2. It's, mine's not even flickering. Yeah. No normal light would flicker that way. 2.2. 2. What's interesting is someone had hung some charms there. <laughs> oh, that is interesting. I would too, bizarre. if... <laughs> oh, wait, Am I using your 
<laughs> I just got a really weird, big, big spike. Really? Yeah, just like walking down the hallway. And it's didn't do totally anything. not there at all. It's just totally zero now. Microwave. <laughs> yeah, somebody <laughs> turned on the microwave down <laughs> the floor below. So this is Carl's. This is Carl's room. Carl, here's your chance if you want to say something to us. Yeah, Carl, you can you can speak and maybe we will pick it up on these on these devices. Or if you want, you could make these lights light up. Carl, do you know anything about the woman who supposedly threw herself off the top of the building? She might be here now, too. She might be more responsive to you than to me. <laughs> what do you say? Well, she, if she I, I can identify with the jilted. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. But if this was a movie, mm -hmm. I would I would look just exactly like the guy who jolted her, right? And then she would come and kill me. And later we would find her. the oil painting exactly. in the attic. <laughs> dust away the cobwebs. Exactly, yeah. That's when you bring in the really short medium. <laughs> short medium. <laughs> Why are they always short? Yeah, they're smalls, not mediums. <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> How about if we leave the recorders going and then just scope out EMF-wise the, the rest of the hallway and come back in case Carl or whoever wants to say something when we're not here? Okay. I just got another big spike right really? in the middle of the hallway. It's always when I'm just barely paying attention. Maybe that's it. It's like, hello. <laughs> Carl? I'm not getting any of the um, strange, orby, floaty things right now. Me neither. Enter passcode. That's weird. I did just get something. Yeah? Yeah. You know, and it was, what was weird was it was really low. Like a cat? Like a cat, exactly. It's not showing up in the photos, though. Yeah, well, never has. Oh, wait, no, I did just get a, I got an orb. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yep. Yeah. It's funny, because I didn't actually even see it when I took the photo. Well, this is kind of interesting. It could very well be nothing. But see, here's a hallway shot, right? Mm -hmm. You see the floor right here? Right. Like a second later, same shot. I didn't move, but like, look right at that right there. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of thing I was talking about. You can almost see that that's like something moving. It seems to be a very quiet floor right now. Yeah. Everything is very quiet here on 8. And that's what had happened. It completely came out of nowhere. An event that defied all expectations. I freaked out. I mean, what were the odds? Nobody saw it coming until it was upon them. A voluntary on-camera tenant interview. Some of the stories of the apartments, the one I'm living in actually had a mob murder in it. So there are blood stains on my door. I'm a little freaked out. I'm barely touching this. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not doing this. <laughs>